Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup with a first and second impressions. If you're new to my channel or if you are here quite frequently, thank you first of all. But I try my best to kind of do full face of new products but occasionally I never find everything to do like a full face so I thought I would incorporate a couple of like second impressions and products that I haven't tried in a while in one video so I'm going to start off on the eyes today and my main thing that I'm very excited for on my eyes is trying the new Danessa Merrick's uh, Colour Fix Glaze so these are now available on Beauty Bay um, and recently Beauty Bay had like I think it was a sale for the Jubilee or something and these were £10 so they're normally around £18 um, but I've heard these are very very good one of my friends she did recommend them to me so I thought I would give it a go. I mean, there wasn't many shades that were on a discount, so I got like the most affordable one. So this is in the shade Cupcake. These are um, for your eyes, for your cheeks, and for your lips. Today I'm just gonna do it for my eyes because um, I have other products to try for those places, <laughs> basically. So I'm gonna start off with um, just a, like a little base. So I'm gonna start off with my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is the Ultimate Queen palette, so I have used this in uh, one of my previous videos, but I thought I would just um, use a bit today because we've got like a deeper tone and I quite like the shade and um, I thought I would maybe add like a little matte shade, so maybe something like this for it. There's no names on these palettes, so I thought I would just go in and do it. So I'm going to kind of incorporate like that and I also have got like a shimmer um, that I want to add but that's for like a different brand so I will show you guys that in a moment but this NYX palette was very very nice I have tried it already the video would have been out before this one it was um, a full face of NYX and they recently did send this to me but I thought it's like one of the it's like the second time I was trying just their eyeshadow formula just because I've never really tried um, their eyeshadows before. I've tried one palette uh, but it was like a really mini palette but I thought this palette itself is really really cute. It's a lot um, a lot of nude tones which are not right up my street but I do kind of like to go in between nude tones and colourful looks so I'm just gonna like I'm only just using that one shade that I wanted to use so I'm gonna blend this and then we'll go on to the cupcake um, like colour fix basically but I've been very intrigued as to how this colour fix works because I've that I've heard so many good things about this so I am nervous but intrigued so I'm gonna be putting it kind of on like this part of my eye and then this part I'm gonna add some shimmer you can get these in shimmery versions this is just a normal um, kind of matte Wear, I believe so yeah it's a long wear gloss which is for your eyes lips and cheeks and it does say to achieve the desired look use minimal amount of product a little goes a long way so of course I'm just going to be very careful apply using a brush or finger for desired effect layer over our color fix mattes to add a shine so um, I can only assume this is like a matte shade let's see because in the pictures it did look like it was just a standard matte colour so I am taking the smallest amount and I'm going to add that to my lid and we're just going to build it up because I don't want to just obviously go all the way in with just like a bum shade if you hear any noise in the back I apologise I have construction people working literally outside our window and not a window but like on the street and it's really freaking loud and annoying but let's just add a bit more so we're going to build it up and it is like it says it's a gloss so I feel like what this is also it might be just a sh I'm gonna put actually put it everywhere now and then I'm gonna put the little shimmer on top of this because it feels quite tacky so I feel like it might be a good base for a shimmer so obviously what it says I should have read it a bit more clearer so that's my own fault um, but I feel like this is a great base for something quite tacky and I'm adding a little bit on each side but again it's very buildable so you just have to take your time with it and I apologize if you know any of my ha if my hand gets in the way um, but these are so far very nice. I'm not going to try 
wearing it for a very long time because I just I can't I can't keep my makeup on for like that crazy amount of time but it's a good prep for like any weddings or anything that I'm going to so one of my friends is well two of my friends are, well, <laughs> husband and wife to be are both my friends they're getting married in early July so I'm testing out different kind of eye looks to what to do because it's gonna be a very long day um, and so I want my makeup to kind of work as much as possible and stay input as much as possible so I'm trying out different techniques but that's looking really nice it's not um, like crazy powerful like in the sense of oh my god it's like so pigmented but you can definitely see the shade on it I've still got some of my um, NYX kind of like poking through it's not going to be like the main thing of my look but you know I'm going to add a shimmer now so I'm going to use the Technic Diamond Shine Eyeshadow Cream so this is just going to be a topper on top so I actually got this from a beauty outlet this morning weirdly enough um, and I got it for like one pound one fifty I think Technic themselves are very affordable anyway but especially in the beauty outlet much more affordable so I've got this brush from Essence um, I picked this up at my local Wilkinson's like a couple of days ago it actually says that it's a correcting and contouring brush I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow because it actually is quite a nice black brush for eyeshadow so I'm just gonna swirl it and add it because I'm a rebel and who cares so let's just add some of this on top I might kind of put it all over because this shade is not crazy pigmented and it's in the shade golden topaz so we're gonna add it on top and we're just gonna see how it goes and it's still a little bit tacky the um, Dene um sorry the, um, <laughs> Danessa Merrick's um, like eye cream so I feel like this is going on really really nicely as well and because it is such a tacky base um, it is going to blend very nicely. Okay, wow. That's super duper nice. Of course, I've made it a little bit messy because that's just how I do things. But I will need some things up when I put things like later on. So we're going to kind of leave the eyes for a moment. We're going to go on to the rest of the face. So I have a sample actually from the Alicia Keys line. So it's so strange, but um, I, I'm signed up to like test samples from Vogue and it is a free thing to do so you can also sign up for it and they sent me like an email saying do you want to test out one of her serums and I was like yeah why not so this is the let me glow illuminating serum so this can be used under makeup so hence why I'm gonna use it today I do have a bit of a primer on already I have my NYX marshmallow primer um, I was doing something for their social media thing so I thought I would just keep it on and yeah this is meant to be let me quickly read it so it's got rose water um, I don't even know I can't even pronounce that word but it helps brighten balance the skin's appearance um, it's vegan cruelty free so fantastic and yeah Alicia Keys I do quite like her I don't know what she I don't know what she knows about makeup you know she has her own makeup line clearly because um, she's a very rich successful woman so obviously she can start her own line if she wants to and I'm just gonna put this like everywhere but it is so strange when it comes to like celebrity makeup because you feel like do they know enough about it obviously they work alongside a lot of people so they obviously are not just doing it themselves but most of the time they do have other companies like helping out especially like money wise and you know you know just help with advice and doctors and stuff like that so interesting I have not heard much about people reviewing her um, skincare because I don't really follow much skincare anyway um, I follow uh, James Welsh but that's about it and I don't know if he's reviewed any of it I'll have to have a look but that feels really nice it's got a bit of um, like a soft kind of feel to it you, it's got a, such a strong smell of rose so if you're not a big fan of rose scented makeup then that's probably not for you but it is a serum just to kind of 
help your skin feel a bit more tackier it's got it's give, definitely given me a glow which is what it says on there so let's move on so we're going on to foundation or this is a tinted cream so this is the essence hydro hero so this is a 24 hour hydrating tinted cream this is in the shade 10 soft nude so i got this from my local wilkinson's they actually had some new stuff there which i was pretty surprised about because my local wilkinson doesn't tend to have a lot of new stuff and majority of the time it's all opened um so i'm actually gonna just yeah see how this goes um and I've got a new sponge. I've got a Disney themed sponge from um, Primark. I don't know if you can see it's got mini on there. You probably won't see it because it's so, it's black. <laughs> so I'm just showing you nothing, but I am going to add some of this on here. And I'm gonna be filming a video very soon with some exciting news for myself. I mean, I just, if you follow me on Instagram and you're like my friends on, you know, social media and stuff, you'll know what I'm talking about but I've just planned a trip to Disney and it's like a dream come true but I am going to be filming a video on it so make sure you're subscribed if you're intrigued to see what I'm going to be doing and when I'm going and stuff like that but I'm going to add this hydrating tinted cream so far there's like nothing <laughs> coming up on my skin um, I know it's meant to be like tinted hydrating cream but there's nothing really coming up i'm just gonna tap it in to see if it actually does anything um i believe this was 4.99 so for essence obviously that's like a standard price um it's not really going on i don't know if i'm applying it wrong well i shouldn't be applying it wrong because it's just um it's just a normal cream but it's not giving me any coverage i'm just gonna have a quick read so it says for comfortable, long-lasting wear, light texture, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'll try a brush to see if it would do anything. So I'm just going to get one of my brushes. And I've just got one of my Spectrum brushes now. So I'm going to see if that does anything. It might, it might not. I don't see why. I mean, with my sponge, it hasn't um, kind of gone into the sponge, if that makes any sense. Okay, this is a little bit better. Um, so maybe if you do try this, maybe a brush would work better, but I like to kind of use a sponge a lot of times these days. I kind of go through phases of using sponges and using, um, you know, brushes, but I'm not going to add too much because it will probably end up like popping out of nowhere knowing me. So I will just be quite sparse on this, but it's not doing a whole load if that makes any sense like you can't really notice the difference i'm gonna add a tad more i'm just adding shit ton to, <laughs> to my face um i'm not gonna add any more after this last bit now so i'm gonna close the lid and i'm just gonna add some more on this side because i don't know i'm because i've got other products to put on my face i don't want to just add it just to my skin but um I mean you can see it I think the shade is a little bit too deep for me um, so this is meant to be soft nude it's a bit deeper than that I feel um, so I'm just gonna add some like at the bottom of my neck just so I don't look completely crazy because I don't have a concealer but I mean it so far feels like there's nothing on my skin even though I think it's slowly building up um, yeah, this is not like an everyday thing for me, I would feel so. Is it? Can you notice anything? Yeah, I think this is slowly going onto my skin. But anyway, let's move on before we're here for the whole week. So, we are now going on to blush, and I'm very excited because um, this is a long time coming. But I finally have a Made by Mitchell blush, and let me tell you. I got this on the TikTok shop for £2, I'm not even joking, I got this for £2, free delivery as well, I mean I, I never purchased from TikTok shop before so I don't know how I got a, like a voucher for like free shipping and major discount but I think the major discount is something that they do anyway because they're always doing a massive discount. I was pleasantly surprised and that this is legit and it is actually their uh, page as well because it has like the um, the blue tick so I was 
two pounds these are normally 18 pounds and you should i highly recommend keeping an eye on um, their tiktok shop because they do discounts every day the other day they had um one of his new palettes is like a, a selection of like four shimmers for like five pounds and then you could get a brush and one of their eye bases for like ten pounds i was so tempted but i was like i need to stop because i can't add I can't keep like adding more to my collection when I'm trying to get rid of stuff but um, I was very excited to try this this is in the shade where's the SPF this might be a bit too deep for me but I'm still gonna give it a go like this seems this foundation seems like it's a little bit deep for me anyway but we're gonna go for it um, and yeah I'm just pleasantly surprised it was delivered eventually by um, every who I have had major problems with in the past well so have everyone else to be honest anyone that uses every they know how bad their system is so if you um, do order from TikTok shop I would be very like if you live in a flat or if you live um, somewhere that's quite like not secluded I've gone way too much on this um, somewhere that's not like easy for drivers or something to get to like I yeah good luck with that because they try to deliver like two or three times when they didn't is I absolutely hate every like I've mentioned them so many times as to them delivering products to me that's why I've not really ordered much from Beauty Bay recently because they they deliver via every and if you go on every social media page everyone is just complaining um, about their services or lack of services because they're terrible they're a terrible service um, and I was pleasantly surprised that this actually got delivered because they were like yeah this is your last attempt because you get three attempts for them to actually deliver to you and if you're not if you don't like get the delivery then they send it back to sender and it's so frustrating because um, I was home on every single time that they attempted to deliver and they didn't even bother to call me or anything and they do have like my number I have gone ridiculous with this but I'm gonna powder down in a minute so trust the trust the system I apologize with how I look so far um, but I just hate every I never had any problems with Hermes but as soon as it became every that's when the issue started and yeah if you do have any issues with them you can't contact them you have to contact the sender to contact them to then like get any support it's terrible so yeah this is um, extremely pigmented extremely red so obviously this is like a sunburnt kind of shade I am gonna sort this out in a minute because I have royally messed this up but I'm gonna now use my rare beauty highlighter so this is in the shade mesmerize I am gonna use this obviously in my cheek area and then I'm gonna powder down in a moment just so it will help with everything and I'm gonna try my best to get rid of some of this red because I do feel like maybe um, this this hydro something is too deep for me it says soft nude but it's not soft <laughs> and it's not nude so I'm gonna have to sort my face out a little bit off camera because I'm gonna be looking a little bit ridiculous so I am gonna quickly go off camera use my setting powder and kind of arrange myself a little bit and then I'll be back okay so I've managed to sort out myself I actually used a concealer so I use my NYX can't stop won't stop concealer this is like the palest concealer that I have and I had to really dumb down what I did because that blush was a little bit intense but I feel like I'm looking a bit more okay so I'm gonna go in with my mascara so this is the rare beauty mascara in the shade black I have again used this once or twice but I haven't really had a chance to use it again recently and I'm starting to really kind of like Red Beauty I want to try more um, I kind of feel like I need to go into one of their stores to see what will fit me just a bit more because as much as I'd like to order online I kind of love going into stores and just having a feel and a touch and like just trying 
things out obviously swatching is the word um but you know it's just about going being bothered to go out but i can't be bothered but yeah this is really nice for a small size because i got it part of a set which was these two and a lip product and a blush really really worth it it's a great way to kind of introduce yourself to these type of brands so lastly i'm going to go on the lips i'm doing a red look today of course so i'm going to go in with my Real Love Revolution uh, Super Fill Lip Liner and I'm going in with my Colourpop Darth Vader Red Lipstick in the shade Surrender. We'll do that off camera, come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. And back in this is my finished look. I absolutely love everything. The fact that I had to spend a bit more time with the blush is probably, I don't know, it's, me, it's probably my fault. But I'm just gonna say it's either my fault or it's the fault of this or it's the fault of the blush but I've never heard I've not heard any bad things about the blush I think I might have just gone a little bit too crazy like I always do so a quick wrap up I mean the Danessa Merrick's eyeshadow thing is absolutely insane my eyelids were slightly creasing before I came back on camera so I did have to like blend it out a bit my eyelids do get oily very quickly so I don't know if that's a me problem or it's a that problem but we'll see how it kind of goes. I'm going to film another video after this and I'll see how it feels. Um, what else? The Hydro. It's okay. Again, I think it's a bit too deep for me. And it doesn't give me enough coverage. I know it's meant to be a tinted hydrating cream. So again, that's probably my own fault for like buying it, expecting a bit more. But, you know, if I want something that's not too heavy or I want something a bit light because my skin has been doing so well recently... Um, I think something like that is totally fine. Um, this little shadow thing is nice. Again, it, it went on perfectly fine. Uh, what else is new? Well, nothing else is really new. The Alicia Keys thing, I mean, it's it's worked really well with this. There's no issues. And everything else is more of a second impression. Um, so let me know what you guys have picked up. Let me know what you liked out of this bunch. If you felt something worked for you, if it didn't work for you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. I hope you guys are doing really, really well and I do hope to see you in another video. Bye.